The Inter-Apartheid Advisory Council, IPAC, has called on all stakeholders in the electoral process to ensure the success of the November 6th gubernatorial poll in our state. states. The national chairman, IPAC, Leonard Nzewa, urged all our aggrieved people of the state to shed their sword and also embrace the peace and interest of the state in particular and the nation in general. Benedict Oku has more on the story. As the Anambra gubernatorial election draws close, speculations of electoral violence and rising insecurity have become part of conversations. This is coming as the proscribed group of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, have enforced a sit-at-home order while propagating anti-voting rhetoric to citizens in the southeast. Addressing newsmen on Wednesday in Abuja, the national chairman Inter-Party Advisory Council, Leonard Nzenwa, urged all aggrieved compatriots to sheath their sword in the interest of the peace and development of the state. EPA calls on all stakeholders in the electoral process to ensure the success of the 6th November 2021 governmental poll in Anambra State. We should all set aside our individual differences and partisan politics and work towards the success of this crucial election that will take the good people of Anambra State to the next level. The council urges all agreed persons and stakeholders to sheath their swords and embrace peace in the interest of Anambra State, in particular, and the nation in general. The Inter-Party Advisory Council calls on the youth to achieve violence in all its ramifications and show political buccaneers masquerading as Democrats, whose stock in trade is to use them for electoral toggery, ballot snatching, and rigging to toward the people's mandate. It is time to jettison do or die politics. We therefore urge all stakeholders to rise to the occasion, defend our free democracy and its institutions, and ensure that this Saturday's governorship election is successful and meets international standards. While commending INEC for adopting electronic transmission of results during the exercise, the council called on all stakeholders to rise to the occasion and defend Nigeria's democracy and its institutions. We are advising you as, a political, as political parties, go and vote now, allow peace to reign, Go and vote. After voting, you can continue with the agitation. But if you frustrate INEC, if you frustrate INEC, I may be the one the president will send to run the state. <laughs> Somebody will come because there will be no vacuum by one minute after the expiration of Teller of Obiano. So that's why we are pleading with them. We are begging them. Forget everything. Just one day Saturday, go and cast your vote. Then on Sunday, Monday after election, you can continue with the agitation. <laughs> we have resolved that all of us will be in Anambra. We will be all in Anambra in order to boost the morale of and uh, the morale and confidence of uh, voters in Anambra. If we from other states of the Federation will be in Anambra in order to make sure that Anambra people exercise their, uh, franchise. Uh, have their franchise then why should the uh, indigenous of Anambra not come out to exercise that franchise? The Inter-Party Advisory Council also demanded that the security agencies discharge their duties professionally and ensure adequate protection of lives and property during the exercise. They also suggested that security agents release dedicated phone numbers for the people to call if there is any breach of the peace in their polling units. 